Um, I brought her here today because I just want to tell her that I do love you and I really do want to be with you. I brought you all the way here to make this work. To, I'm just, I, I'm tired of the, when I left, I'm, I'm tired of uh, arguing all the time, you know, over petty stuff like... Everybody argues. If you love somebody, how, I'm, you don't just walk out. Well, I mean, I understand that. You don't just walk out. And, I mean, if we could do it without arguing 24-7, without all the problems, I would be down. Because what we had was great. I mean, what we have when we're 100% committed, it's amazing. I've never had it before, and I'm down to keep it. You know, I don't, I don't need no, no other woman. I don't ever need another woman. But how do I know that you're not just going to leave all over again? You come in, everything's fine for a minute, and it's like you just, you're over it. You, you walk out, you leave, you don't see your daughter for how long? You, you're missing out on everything, from her learning to crawl, her holding her own bottle, her, her learning to use her hands for the first time. And you're missing all this, and you just don't care. You walk out on kids that have no one else but us. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's like... How? How? As a father, how do you just walk away from your kids? You don't see them. You don't talk to them. You don't help me with them. I do this by myself while you're what? Running the streets? Is it somebody else or... I mean, no. I mean, I understand where you're coming from with the I do, I do leave, you know what I mean? But I'm also not trying to do that all the time. That's why I brought you here is because I'm trying to get a change in this in this roller coaster. We keep, we keep bump, going into bumps and stuff. I'm, try, I'm not trying to do that no more. I'm not, I'm not trying to do this. And then you got to change the way you handle things before any of that can happen because your first go-to is running out the door. Why, and these kids watching you. My son is six years old. He's seen that his whole life. That's not something I want for them. I don't want my kids in a broken home. I want them to have both of us. And this is what you do. Yes, we're going to fight and argue. That's, it, it is what it is. Nobody's perfect. Nobody. Not you, not me. Well, I, I mean, I understand. Who's Taylor? Uh, my roommate. That's your roommate. That's my roommate, yes. Why is she here? Um, because there's something, there's another thing to this that I gotta tell her. Okay. And that is that the girl you seen at the gas station was Taylor. Are you serious? Are you serious? How dare you rest our family like that? You would just I mean, give them up, but you want me back. But this is how you do it? I mean, it wasn't like My that. roommate? It wasn't like that. Are you that. serious? Oh, it's not like that. that. Then, no. Okay, then please do explain to me what it's like. I mean, it was just there to fill, fill a void that you left. I, I mean, left a void. You're the one that walked out the door. How did I leave a void? Because you made me, you pushed me to walk out the I door. I pushed you out the door. Yeah, every, every okay, time. Okay, so we argue. You can't take it. You can't man up to be a, a dad and work through people. But, so you, so you, my roommate? Well, here she is. Here, tell her. that you wound up with him? I ran into Michael at the gas station. Yeah. We started talking. My man's been locked up. Michael was looking for comfort. I was looking for comfort. Michael drove me home, and we hooked up in the car. Okay, so you see what my kids go through. You watch my daughter cry for her dad, and then you sleep with him. I watch you cry for him, too, but that doesn't right, matter. Right, right, don't love it. But you didn't mind me putting shoes on your feet, clothes on your back. But you didn't like me at the beginning, right? You didn't like me at the beginning. I owed you no You're time. No this loyalty. Don't mess with no bitches. loyalty. Try for like you. Or uh, who's John? Uh, her dad. Sam's dad. My John dad. is your dad. Here's John. Yep.
That's why I'm fighting Gerald. You understand me? It's my daughter. You understand? My granddaughter. You want to play like a little whore when you mess her heart up and her emotions? Who picks up the pieces? Me. Me. Who puts a rift over her head? You bum. I'm a bum. I'm a bum. Yeah. I'm bum. Now what? Stay right here. Dad, this is Stay my right life. You have to let Stay me here. live it. It might be I your life. I want the same yeah. thing. Um, you did this. Samantha. This is my life. You've got to let me make my own choices. Samantha. I did hey, you to be there for me. Listen to me. That boy's never going to change. He's always going to mess shooting them kids around. And then I daddy's going to have to be the one there. What's going to happen when I'm gone? Huh? Then what? Who's going to pick up the pieces for you? For some bomb like that? Huh? You can't help who you love, Dad. That's the father of my daughter. And the father to a son, too. Well, then why don't I you still... do the right thing? That's what I'm trying to do. Why can't That's you do the right here. thing? This is the right thing. Okay. Baby, I love you, okay? And I'm sorry that I've done this. Lies! But, I mean, Number lies. if you choose to be with me and give me another chance, I ain't gonna do nothing. I'll prove it. Prove it how? How are you gonna prove it, Michael? The best way with actions instead of words. I mean, I can't tell you actions, how I'm gonna prove it. Actions, your actions up it. until now, I heard this the last time, too. So then what, we'll wait until oh, six months later here. when you're walking out the door and our daughter doesn't, it, it's not just learning how to use her hands. It's not learning to crawl. No, it, it's going to be starting kindergarten. It, it's going to be starting preschool. These are and all I'm things that you're going to be, oh, you're going to be there. there. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, be there. Like you was going to be there when she learned to crawl. Like you was going to be there to hear her first words, right? But then whores like this are more important. And that's not ass Dumb that bitches like it. this. Like I said, sloppy bitches. Like I said. I, re I really don't need like that, okay? You, but you have like that, though. That's what you to do. Been a void. That's what you do every time you can't handle being a man and being a dad. No, you'd rather do what you no, see. I can, I can handle a dad and a man. That's why I'm doing this. That's why you haven't seen you your daughter. You deserve to That's why you walked out on your son. I didn't yeah, walk I deserve out. to know the truth. And I deserve to be treated like I got. Yeah, you, like you I'm do. somebody. You do. Like you actually love me. But I, you do. I mean, I, I understand. You do. I deserve so much better than. Okay. Yeah. I take I mean, care of my children. I mean, I understand you deserve something better than that, but you also deserve something better than me. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to try to be that man. You I should can't try to keep that your man. pants zipped up, too. Oh. Uh -huh. right. Um, you love him. Yes, Jerry. Unfortunately, I do. And do you want to try to, for the 50th time, try to make this work? I do. I do want to be with him, yes. Okay. But we're going to have to take the so slow, like, so slow is into the point that you got so much to prove to me. I, I can't, I'm not going to do this again. Like, when you walk out this time, you might as well just delete the number out of your phone. Forget you ever had kids, because it's not obviously that hard for you to do. Walking out and acting like they don't exist, it, it's not hard for you. We'll be back.